when you're playing guitar in Pro Tools or recording guitar, you're recording your performances. One thing that might suck is you might think you're limited to just using one guitar amp plugin at a time. Now, of course, the guitar is a mono instrument, but what if you want that wall of sound while you are recording, you know, while you're listening to your drums, you're trying to play. Well, that sounds okay, but it's better if you can hear it from left and right, maybe another one down the middle. You want to maybe combine amps, you want this angle, and then maybe you want, say, something like a Powerball at the same time. Well, there's a little trick you can do. Now, one thing you can do, which I do all the time, is use Stereo Maker from Brainworks. And the way this works, let me hit that target. Let's open up Insight. I'm going to bypass it for now. And this is what your sound field looks like. Because it's straight mono, it's just coming right down the middle. But with Stereo Maker on, you get sort of that double tracked feel. So that's one solution you might want to look into. Highly recommend the Brainworks BX Stereo Maker from Plugin Alliance. But there's also something else you can do. You know, whenever we're using Stereo Maker, we're just basically taking the same amp and sort of making a pseudo double tracked sort of sound. What if I want to use two amps or three amps? Well, you can actually do that. Let me actually remove Stereo Maker here. No insert. We're going back to that mono channel now. So what if I did this instead? This is something that people don't really think about doing. So Control Shift N, Command Shift N on Mac. Let's create another mono audio track. Here it is. Let's just quickly color it. Say red. And what about this? In this case, I'm just going to hold on Alt, click. I'm going to drag a copy of that angle plugin down here on this track. So that's going to be the same exact settings that I already have. Monitor that. No sound because I haven't selected the correct input. So there's the correct input. So that's the little trick there. Set your input to the same input that you're using for your guitar track. So for each guitar amp you want to use, just choose the same input. And that's something people don't, uh, people don't think about a lot of times. So up here you can see this interface exposes itself as input one slash input two dot L, but this is the mono, so it's just input one. And then we choose the same exact input for the next track. So now if I monitor both of these, not gonna sound good because we're going down the middle, right? But we can do this. Pan all the way left, pan this one all the way right. Now you need to actually see this so you can understand how this works. Let me move this. So we have one amp over here, one amp panned hard right, one panned hard left, but it's the same exact settings. Is that gonna work? Nope. Why not? Well, because there's no differences. So even though we're panned hard left and hard right, I can take one of these off, right? So now if I play, you can see the scope down there. Well, I monitor the other one. Hmm, when you put them together, right down the middle. Okay, that's not what you want. What you want to do is make some changes. All right, so in this case, what we'll do, we'll come over here to the effects rack, and we'll change, in this case, our impulse response. But if you're using a different guitar amp plugin, you could just change the cabinet, the microphone. We just need to make some changes. So let's go with, say, 50 here. In this case, I'm going to turn off middle voice. I'm going to increase the volume to compensate pull up the treble a bit. There we go. Over here, I'm going to pull down the presence a bit and the depth punch a bit. Very good. So now we have slightly different settings. So here's the settings there. Here's the settings there. And they don't have to be these exact settings. So now when you look, pull insight back up here. Now, both of these are on the same input. Remember that that's very important. So now when you play, There you go, now you have that wall of sound. But we can actually do even better if instead of using the same exact amp, maybe we used a different amp. So in this case, let's just get rid of this. 
we'll head in here and let's find something completely different. Let's go for, what do you say, Amplitude 4. We'll just go with the mono version. And I'll choose a preset that I have here. This is a Powerball. So now we have a Powerball and the angle E646VS. Panned left. This one's panned right. I'm going to switch this over here. Say 44. I'm going to turn middle voice back on. Pull down depth punch. There we go. Now again, we have the input of both of these tracks set to the same input. So you can have your guitar going to more than one track and monitoring it or recording it at the same time. It's very useful for whenever you're playing your guitar or recording your guitar in Pro Tools. Don't want that right now. Let's pull up inside again, just so you can see this. So now, even a wider wall of sound. Now we might need to compensate our levels. So we can come over here, turn this one down a bit. Take this one up a little bit. Awesome. So now you can play with more than one amp and more than one cab and more than one whatever just by using different tracks here in Pro Tools and setting them to the same exact input. Pretty cool, right? Something a lot of people don't think of. So whenever you're playing around, figuring out what you want to play, figuring out your progressions, but you don't even have to stop there. You can take this as extreme as you want. Let me make sure this is groove, groove off, very good. So just to prove the point, we can record both of these because in Pro Tools, we're not recording the affected sound. So we can always record like this. We can record both of these together, just our single performance, you know, on our guitar. Now this is not the same thing as double tracking. This would be like, you know, splitting your guitar off into two amps and having the mic, right? both of them mic with just one performance. This is not the same thing as double tracking. You need to understand that. But this is useful even if you are going to double track. We turn this count off, off, we don't need it. So if we're just recording. Right, so there we go. We recorded both of them at the same exact time. And then the cool thing is, now, because we were playing with, you know, two different amps, I can disengage, say, the angle, leave the amplitude, the Powerball, a uh, record enabled, and now I can record just this, you know, just this right track. Right? And then you would have a true, uh, true double track there. Let's get rid of this, because we don't need it. Get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. But we don't have to stop there. What if you want to do three? Well, guess what? We can do three. Let me get rid of Stereo Maker here on this track, which is Emperor. So now we have Emperor. Pull this up here. So just Emperor. So maybe we want that coming just right down the middle. So that's down the middle. This is right, and this is left, all at the same time. And of course, come in here and adjust your volume levels, adjust your settings, to whatever you need them to be. Just to get everything set up right. Check inside again. There you go. 
So now you can play with a wall of sound, a raging wall of sound of guitars as you're figuring out exactly what you want to play or even as you're recording. So that way it just sounds a little better instead of having just that one guitar coming down the middle. Sounds much better with that big wall of sound. There you go. So go try that out. It's something that a lot of people don't think of is that you can have one input running into multiple tracks and have all of those tracks either record enabled or monitored. Same exact input, same exact source. So in this case, our, our, our guitar, and you can monitor or record all of those sources at the same time. So load up two, three, four different guitar amps, pan them around however you need them to be panned, adjust your levels, and play around with a giant wall of sound while you're just playing or while you are recording. And if you're not hearing the differences, if you're still getting a straight mono sound, head into your different guitar amps and try changing up uh, some of the settings. Usually the speaker, the microphone, are going to make the most, the most difference. There you go. Just remember, one more time, set your input to the same exact input on all of your mono tracks in this case, all of them, we're using three in this case, same exact input on our interface, which in my case is the Complete Audio 6, going into input one, monitor all your tracks, put whatever guitar amps you want on them. There you go, man. Huge, huge wall of sound. <laughs> 